What day is it? What day is it? Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it? What day is it? Hump day. It's hump day. Hi, friends. It's good to be back with you after my time out at Wheat Harvest. I had a great time out there. Enjoyed getting to do something very different, kind of rest the brain a little bit. But now I'm back and excited to be with you again. I wanted to share with you a, a story a little bit of the, of the time that I was out there um, that goes along with a parable that Jesus told the disciples. It's uh, from Matthew 13. It goes like this. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to someone who sowed good seed in his field. But while everybody was asleep, an enemy came and sowed wing weeds among the wheat and then went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared as well. The workers of the household came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where then did these weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. But the workers said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? But he replied, No, for in gathering the weeds you would uproot the wheat along with them. Let both of them grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time I will tell the reapers, Collect the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned, but gather the wheat into my barn. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. When we go into wheat fields sometimes, we find that there is a, a strange looking plant in there. And the uh, original translation of this called it darnel, or many of you may know that as a form of rye. When rye mixes in with the wheat, why it usually does choke the wheat out, or it becomes very sparse. And it is, is strange because it, it grows so much taller than the wheat. And you would think, well, just go in and pluck it out. But the master was right. As he said, if you go in and pluck it, you could disturb the wheat as well. So when we go into the field with our combines, we have to go through both. And because sometimes the, the uh, rye gets so big, it's unfortunate that it, it really slows things down. I mean, it slows the header down because there's much more straw involved. There's nothing in the head of that except maybe a couple kernels, which is different than the wheat. And so that causes some trash to be put into the grain bin. And it just is not a good thing for the farmers. But the funny thing is, is that this seems to come to us from different sources. Sometimes it comes in because of the wind. Sometimes it comes in because it got mixed in un inadvertently with the seed that was planted. Sometimes it appears because it has been laying dormant for a few years and then something disturbs it in the field. Nevertheless, it grows up among us. It's kind of like our lives today. You know, we are, we are all planted and we're all given this ample opportunity to grow and to do well. And, and we're given the opportunity to produce good seed, to produce a good harvest. But sometimes the enemy comes among us. Sometimes that enemy is in the form of Satan. Sometimes that enemy is in the form of the media. Sometimes that enemy is in the form of people who wish to do us harm. And they try and change us. They try and move us to a place that is not where God has called us to. And then all of a sudden we find ourselves standing amongst the weed and the tares or the darnel or the rye. And what do we do with that? Well, the good news is for us is we're not stuck being the rye. We're not stuck being the weeds that are going to be bundled together and, and burned. We have the opportunity to change the way that we're seen. We have the way to change the way that we act towards one another, to support one another in love and compassion. Friends, have a wonderful week. And remember that the Lord is with you. Amen.